What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of my World Cup series. This is episode number 32 and uh, we start today's episode off by reviewing the group table. Despite losing two out of the three group games, we still made it through with one win to the knockout stages. Real, real relief. Somehow we made it through and we come against this side to start the episode off with. We got a 4-3-3, 85 rated 100 chemistry team to face in the round of 16 here. And he's got Neuer in goal back for a Vertonghen, um, Vertonghen, Boateng, Hummels and Serna. He's got a midfield trio of Matuidi, Pogba and Fabregas. And the front three is Royce, Huntelaar and Nani. So really, really awesome side. And the first chance of the game would actually fall to us here in the fifth minute. As Dos Santos gets on the ball, rolls it through legs of Matuidi and finds Herrera. He plays it back to Dos Santos. Really nice piece of skill. But unfortunately, Neuer makes a good save and tips it behind for a corner. So a bright start for us despite being the weaker side. And from the corner, we cross the ball in towards Brian Ruiz. He's headed away only as far as Medina. who takes a touch and strikes it. And it just goes over the bar a few inches lower and that's into the back of the net but unfortunately it goes over and it's still nil nil and from the goal kick Neuer plays the ball forward towards Huntala uh, down the centre he flicks the ball on Nani gets on to the end of it here takes it around his man thankfully Cara makes the challenge but as I give the ball away Fabregas also get, uh, concedes possession Herrera finds Dos Santos chips it over the top towards Donovan got seriously lucky there as I didn't control the ball properly it comes back to Landon Donovan here down the left hand side a couple of nice skill moves really good work and from that we keep on going and shoot but it's a good save by Neuer from the tight angle and it's cleared away so the early chance is coming to us which is what we like to see and uh, from the goal kick here in the 21st minute we clear the ball forward it's flicked on by Boateng though towards Huntelaar we get the ball away Nani gets onto it plays it over the top towards the run of Huntelaar great chance my opponent but thankfully for us he messes up the finish and it goes wide the post and out for a goal kick so a couple of good early chances for both sides, but unfortunately neither of us were able to take them. However, in the 38th minute, we got the pitch down the left-hand side here. Clint Dempsey rolls it through towards Giovanni. Some nice passing here. Really good build-up sees Ruiz play it through towards Donovan here. Donovan shoots, but it's a great save by Neuer, and it's cleared away. So just couldn't find the opening goal, despite, in my opinion, playing a little bit better. However, in the 43rd minute, my opponent comes forward here. Pogba finds Huntelaar, and Huntelaar shoots. It's a great save by the goalkeeper, though, but it falls to Royce, who crosses the ball in and Pogba wins the header and puts it into the back of the net so it was a great save by Navas but unfortunately it was turned into the far post was it Nani or Pogba? I'm pretty sure it was Pogba but still it's 1-0 to my opponent and he's in front just before half time and that was just really annoying because I felt as though I played a little bit better in the first half but unfortunately I was behind in the second half he tried to start brightly here and his Landon Donovan goes on a bit of a run a couple of nice skill moves and shoots but Neuer makes a good stop and turns it behind for a corner and it is still 1-0 but since conceding the first goal it was all me really and I was playing really well but I just couldn't seem to find the equalising goal and as Herrera tries to take it around his man it falls to Dempsey but I dragged the shot wide and it is still 1-0 to my opponent I was doing everything I could to score that equalising goal and here's Dos Santos coming through here in the 80th minute but again Neuer makes a really good save and it's cleared away and I just couldn't seem to find a goal and from the break my opponent goes on the counter, Royce collects it, rolls it through towards the run of Luis Suarez who came off the bench for him and he puts it into the bottom corner and makes Makes it 2-0. So he brings on Suarez, who gets his second goal of the game, and that will surely now see him through to the quarterfinals. Because I didn't really fancy my chance of coming back from that. But in the 87 minute, we did come forward here with uh, Joel Campbell, who I brought off the bench. But unfortunately for us again, Neuer is in really good form, and we just can't seem to beat him. And it's still 2-0, and that was how the game would finish. So I have to say, I was really disappointed in that game, you know, because I'll always hold my hands up and say, "Well, my opponent's been a better player," but I really felt as though I deserved to, you know, at least take the game to extra time if not win the game because I did feel like I played quite well and as you see when I match stats I did feel like I played better but unfortunately I didn't get the win my opponent did and as I said in the last episode you know you've got to be clinical that's football you know if you're not clinical you don't take your chances you will get punished especially when you are the worst team and as I said although I felt I played better I had 12 shots compared to his six I had nine on target compared to his three you know I didn't take my chances I wasn't clinical and he was and that's why he won the game and I unfortunately lost it. So we're out in the round of 16 and we'll have to go through the group stages again, which is a real shame. And that's now three defeats on the trot. And that's that's really frustrating, isn't it? Because that's not a good record at all to be 0 for 3 or, you know, 1 for 4, if you will, just with the new side in total. That's really not good. So I need to improve. I just, I haven't really got going with this side. I'm not a big fan of it defensively. It seems really weak. Um, 
have to say, you know, even from midfield onwards, it's it's all offensively based. You know, Herrera and Medina aren't really the best holding mids. I don't really have any good players in, in defence. Navas is a decent goalkeeper, but the back line is really poor. I'm conceding a lot of goals. I, I haven't really got something sorted yet, and I don't really know what to do, to be honest. But we opened the pack there, and then we decided to give our players a load of fitness cards as well uh, and get ourselves ready for our new group stage adventure here. But as you can see, you know, uh, by the team, it's it just... It doesn't really fill me with much confidence and I'm not really sure what I should be looking to do because I don't really know how to strengthen the side um, because there aren't really that many great players from this confederation and uh, anyway we come against this side uh, for the second of three games today and our, in our second attempt with this uh, side in the group stage he's got an 87 rated 100 chemistry side Casillas, Jordi Alba, Hummels, Ramos Lam, Iniesta, Fellaini, Götze, Hazard, Van Persie and Nani and yes I had to stop and take a breath there. Um, yeah he's got an awesome side and again as I said before every single game we're going to be the underdogs but I still fancy my chance of possibly getting a goal or two and the first chance would fall to us in the 12 minutes Dos Santos came forward. I tried to drill it to the far post but unfortunately Casillas made a good save and cleared it away and from the corner in the 17th minute we crossed the ball in towards the far post but Ruiz's header is brilliantly saved by Casillas and it's cleared away so the early chance chances coming to us but unfortunately no goals just yet but in the 22nd minute Iniesta strikes it however Navas makes a decent save and holds onto the ball throws it out towards Clint Dempsey Dempsey finds his American teammate Landon Donovan who spots the run of Giovanni Dos Santos plays in forward here it's a great chance for 1-0 we try and drill it to the far post again but unfortunately it's the same result Casillas makes the save and it's still scoreless but in the 29th minute he see Hummels get onto the ball and find Mario Gutter. it's a great interception by Herrera and we play a great through ball forward towards Donovan can I finish Yes, just about. Put it into the far corner and make it 1-0. Almost messed it up there and we're 1-0 up with just half an hour on the clock. And I felt deservedly so as well. And, well, then my opponent decided to quit. And I don't really know why he did that. I mean... You know, yes, I was playing better, as you can see by the match stats. Yes, I got to a better start. And don't get me wrong, I know it must be frustrating if you've got a super team and you're losing to a side which, let's be honest, isn't that great. But even so, I'm not really sure why he decided to quit the game just 29 minutes and 53 seconds in because, you know, this guy's got a super team. There's no reason why he couldn't get himself back into the game with enough effort and with, you know, 60 in-game minutes left on the clock. I, I don't really know why he decided to quit. Now, I know if he's got stuff to do, that's fair enough. But, you know, let's be honest, why? go into a game if you've got stuff to do I, I that's that's one of the things I never understand with people that quit mid game if you've got something to do you know don't go into a game if you think you might have something to do don't go into a game you know but even so if you just decide to quit because someone scores on you and you still got you know most of the game to go two thirds of the game to go that doesn't really make any sense to me you know I'm, I'm not complaining because we got the win but even so it just, it, it's really baffling to me why people do that but even so uh, we get ourselves into the second game here with our CONCACAF side and after winning the opening game I couldn't really take that for granted because of course we did win our opening game uh, in the last group stage attempt and then we went on to lose the next three you know, three in a row uh, next three games in a row so I couldn't really take that for granted but we came against this side and once again it's a really awesome side as you come to expect he has got a 100 chemistry 86 rated side 4-1-2-1 one, tied one he also won his first game as well he's got Neuer in goal back four of Alba Hummels Pepe and Clichy playing right back interesting enough Matuidi CDM Ribery on the left now on the right, Azil is the playmaker and a strike partnership of Mandzukic and Diego Costa. So again, a really awesome side as you come to expect. However, again, the first chance would fall to me in the eighth minute. Dos Santos came forward, but unfortunately, I messed up the finish and Noya made the save and turned it behind for a corner. And from the corner, Donovan crosses the ball in towards the far post and the header is well saved by Noya and the follow-up header hits the bar so unfortunately a couple of great chances there we'd smash the bar as well yeah unfortunately it was still nil nil but in the 25th minute another great chance for us Medina plays a great ball over the top towards Donovan can we score this time lovely little fake shot and a great finish as well so this time we do get the goal and we go 1-0 up in the 25th minute and in the 29th minute Ribery gets on the ball for my opponent down the left hand side tries to cross the ball in and it's blocked we fail to get the ball away however again my opponent decides to just you know, quit the game. And again, I don't understand why. It's it's the exact same as last time. It's 1-0. Yes, I've been playing a little bit better, but we're only half an hour into the game. It was pretty much the exact same time as the last game. And my opponent decides to quit. And I just I have no idea why... 
they did that both uh, both teams but even so they both quit the games at 1-0 to me you know in pretty much the exact same time to be honest I think it was only a few in-game seconds between them but even so we got credited with the win and that means we've won our opening two games and I guess I'm not complaining I'm just surprised by why it happened but uh, even so we technically win our first two group stage games and uh, hopefully this time we'll put up a bit more of a strong showing if we do get free to the knockout stages which let's be honest we should be able to do but as always guys a big thank you for watching the video I really hope you have enjoyed it if you enjoyed the episode please leave a like because it's much appreciated it really does help my channel out and i'll see you for the next episode of my world cup series very soon